constant research fellow at the University of Technology Sydney, and my background is biomedical sciences. And today I will um, introduce part of my work. It based on the control the synthesis of the of conversion nanoparticles, and this is the nanoparticle, and we can control to synthesize the different shape of nanoparticle, include the nano spheres, nano rod. Um, and the, this core shell uh, structure. And we use this as the signal prop, uh, as it has the magic optical property. It can be excited by laser and transferred to multiple visible lights, like the green, blue, and red lights. <laughs> and uh, uh, we use it as the signal prop to, um, to use in the drug delivery system and uh, the uh, early uh, diagnosis. And this is the disease that we um, diagnose. It's called the preeclampsia. As we see, uh, preeclampsia is the leading uh, mortality, uh, mortality uh, in the uh, pregnancy diseases. And it caused almost 76,000 maternal and the uh, 500,000 uh, fetal death in the world. So it's very urgent to detect this disease. We use our uh, nanomaterials to develop one uh, strip test for this disease. If the uh, pregnant within six weeks and it has the uh, various uh, symptoms include the change in vision, trouble in breathing, and the upper um, pain in the uh, upper belly, and the uh, even the uh, swelling in the legs, and those might um, be uh, has the possibility to get the disease. This is the um, technology that we developed to uh, diagnose this disease. First, we use our nanoparticle as the signal probe to uh, coat the uh, antibody on the surface. Then it can recognize the target in the patient's blood sample. Uh, first, we um, load this sample in the strip, and then it can flow through. On the test line, we code the it's code the capture antibody. It can specifically recognize the target in the uh, sample, and then we use this portable detector to test the, the signal. There's a laser in sets, and it's a called a 980 laser excitation. And after the excitation, the nail particle can uh, emit the uh, blue, red, and green lights, and we collect the signal here. We use the signal read out to calculate the concentration in the blood sample. And then we can compare those uh, patient samples uh, with the health sample. And then we can uh, see the ratio. And according to the ratio, we can uh, diagnose if this sample is negative or the positive. Yeah, that's all from me.